Everybody, JD here, and I get a lot of uh, questions from viewers about just random stuff. And one of the cooler ones recently was, what is my favorite rod? The guy went on to say he wasn't talking about particular brands, but just more from a sentimental value. So I came out here to my little tackle shed, and I've got a few rods in here, as you can see. And then we've got some over here as well. And uh, we're going to take a look at some of my Hall of Famers. So let's check them out. Okay, let's take a look at Hall of Fame rod number one. And, uh, hmm. Oh, there we go. Hall of Fame rod number one. It's a Shimano Claris light power rated 8 to 15 pound test paired up with a Shimano 251 bait caster. And it's a very light, spongy rod, right? Good way to break a rod right there, by the way. But this one, I know, won't break because it is bulletproof. I was using this rod to fish for little striped bass for a research project that I was hired for. We are catching just little fish for a study, and so we scaled our gear down, right? Well, of course, a giant sturgeon happened to suck up the little number two octopus hook that I had just a little bit of sardine on and went off to the races. Well... I land this fish after quite a good battle on 12 pound test and we tagged it and let it go and it was estimated at eight feet long and 250 pounds so that definitely qualifies the old shimano claris for hall of fame status don't you know <laughs> so rod number two in the hall of fame is this G Loomis GL2 1024C. It's a very light 8 to 12 pound uh, steelhead rod. And you can see it's just coated in slime, baked on egg slime and sardine slime and God knows what else. But back in 1998, I bought three of these, three matching Abu Garcia Ambassador 5500 reels, little silver guys, and a drift boat and started a guide business. And who knew all these years later that I'd still be doing that? Not me, I can tell you that. Anyway, so these have a place that's near and dear to my heart because these were what started my, my whole career. So um, incidentally, they were totally the wrong rod for what I was doing. These things are, uh, I was using them for salmon fishing primarily, and these things are way too light. But you live and you learn, right? I mean, I caught plenty of fish. Uh, we probably fought them longer than we needed to. Um, but for pulling quick fish, not really the right rod. Great steelhead drift rod, by the way. But for all the things I was doing with it, I had chosen incorrectly. But, hey, it all worked out in the end. So, Hall of Fame rod number two, the GL2. Yeah, baby. Mwah. No tour of the Hall of Fame would be complete without my very first rod, right? The one that I bought myself with a little help from Uncle Dave. So this is a Garcia, I think a Mitchell Garcia. The, the label's kind of kind of gone now, but uh, <laughs> including some of the eyes. This thing only had one, two, three, four guides and a tip. A little clunky, big, really clunky ferrule there. Nice foam grip, which has come back in vogue, by the way. Not exactly a real finesse stick, <laughs> but Come on, man, this is my first rod. So this one died, and I don't remember exactly what happened. You can see the real seat right there is a little bent up, and so I'm not sure what happened to this rod, but I liked it so much that when that one died, I bought a second one. Now this one, as you can see, says Garcia on it, and uh, pretty much the same rod, one, two, three, four guides, yep. And, ooh, improved ferrule, though. How about that? Yeah, that's a little less bulky. And, of course, the classic Mitchell 300. I mean, this is not a light setup, folks. This thing probably weighs two pounds, three pounds. Uh, but, uh, hey, it was my rig, and I... I assume I caught a lot of fish on this. I can't really remember using this a whole lot. And last but, but not least, the Douglas 9652M, nine and a half foot bait casting machine, steelhead whomping beast. 
that I caught my biggest steelhead ever on. So come on now, you got to have that in the Hall of Fame, don't you? All right, well, thanks for tuning in. I think what I'll do in the future is, uh, this just came to me, is make a video using these old rods to catch fish. I mean, they haven't been used in years, so that'd be fun. Go see if I can't catch something on the old classic. And I like this rod. It's literally where it started. So thanks for tuning in. Hit subscribe, wherever that is, and uh, we'll catch you next time.